hate everyone experiences it it's a part of doctor who it comes with regeneration unless you're david tennant in which case you're instantly adored by the masses crowned the favorite and so none of this is applicable but nobody has experienced hate and contempt from the doctor who audience more so than the current rainbow flag waving black skirt dancing doctor played by a gender driven activist shooty gatwa and that's saying something since they've had a female doctor in the role yeah remember her or him they them i forget the pronouns you're assuming he as a pronoun true yes sorry good point are you he or she or they my chosen pronoun is the definite article i am always the me oh i do that the TARDIS has become the Titanic, it's sinking and its captain, Chuti Gatwa, is throwing people off the ship. In this video, I'm going to take you through the challenges Chuti has faced, how he's dealt with them and what his careless decisions mean for the future of Doctor Who. The internet's talking about it and so are we. I make commentary videos, like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get into it. Like most TV stars, Shuti Gatwa began his acting career on the stage, starring in numerous theatre productions. He juggled between jobs, couch surfed and even became homeless after running out of savings. His big break, however, came in 2018, when Netflix came knocking on his door and offered him a life-changing role in the super hit comedy series Sex Education. Gatwa's fun and quirky personality quickly turned him into a fan favourite, despite only playing the main lead sidekick Eric. His supporting role performance was heavily praised. He won a BAFTA Scotland Award for Best Actor and received three consecutive National BAFTA nominations. In May 2022, Shuti secured the role of the Doctor in the BBC's 60-year-old flagship sci-fi series Doctor Who. It was a year later that he made his on-screen debut, succeeding Jodie Whittaker in the role. Making history, Gatwa became the first ever black actor to lead the series. From Netflix to mainstream TV, no, no, not even mainstream TV, to a global franchise in Doctor Who. As at the same time, Doctor Who shook hands with Disney, taking the brand to a whole new level. What could possibly go wrong? When Shuti Gatwa was first announced as the Doctor, there was excitement in the Hooniverse. Coming out of the dark Jodie Whittaker years, and boy were they dark, fans believed Shuti was the perfect fit to play the eccentric and iconic Time Lord. At the time of the casting, showrunner Russell T Davies said, sometimes talent walks through the door and it's so bright and bold and brilliant, I just stand back in awe and thank my lucky star. Once on screen, the independent called Gatwa's acting mesmerising. While Time magazine were optimistic that Gatwa was bringing Doctor Who into a new era. However, with the good came the bad and this modern day version of the Doctor faced many obstacles. From the off, anyone with a brain could see that Shuti Gatwa was not your typical Doctor. The role of the Doctor for most of the show's run had been played by a straight white male actor. Of course, Gatwa's predecessor Jodie Whittaker had already broken that mould and faced her fair share of criticism along the way. The rule book was out of the window. The Doctor, a thousand year old alien with two hearts, could look like anyone. Man, woman, black, white, cat, dog. It really doesn't matter anymore. But. A whole new look and feel wasn't the only challenge. Gatwa made his debut like no other doctor before him, forced to share a stage with former doctor and fan favourite David Tennant. Yeah, that's right, Gatwa's new and improved doctor wasn't given his own launch pad. His casting was overshadowed by the news that Tennant was returning for a group of special episodes. When the time came, Gatwa's doctor 
literally broke away from Tenant's Doctor in the show's first ever by generation. He was he was just trying to get away. The show has also taken a new direction after the BBC signed a £100 million Disney deal for two trial series. Oh, no. oh that's not bad. Wheelchair accessible. At last, you finally caught up with the 21st century. Yeah. With a new American audience to cater for, Disney and the BBC are working overtime to spread the message. I previously made a video about how Disney have a woke agenda. It's more about ticking boxes than good old fashioned storytelling for them. This is bringing the brand to its knees and it will ultimately finish it off for good. Go watch that video after this if you haven't seen it already. In the world of Doctor Who, however, it's only taken a handful of episodes for fans to be infuriated by Shuti Gatwa's performance. Gender politics have been shoehorned in. After all these years, I'm finally me. A lot of the discussions seem forced, unnecessary and out of place for this fun, time and space travelling 60 year old British institution. Gatwa's identity has now become the doctor's identity. You get a prize, honey. Here is mine. And they won't let you forget it, not even for a minute. What these writers are failing to understand is that the identity of the Doctor is so much more complex than these basic normal human ideologies. Aside from the odd romance, yeah thanks Rose, the Doctor has always been a superior intellectual being who stays at arm's length. It's no secret that Doctor Who is in trouble and not even a £100 million Disney budget can save it. Disney and Shuti Gatwa have brought ratings down to a record-breaking all-time low. Not even a quarter of the audience is still watching and fans are pretty pissed. No, honestly, even Jodie Whittaker's abysmal series had more viewers tuning in to watch. Doctor Who's political messaging and forced inclusiveness has caused fans to check out early. And what's the reason for this? Well, if you ask the showrunners, they'll blame, oh, the weather, the fact that it's the summer and a lot of people don't watch as much TV in the summer, or a billion other excuses. Anything but the actual reason, which is poor storytelling. It's one thing for showrunners to defend their show against bad ratings and reviews. It's another for their main star to throw their toys out of the pram, go on the rampage and tell people not to watch, which is essentially what Shuti Gatwa went out and did. Yes, in an interview with Variety to seemingly promote the show, Shuti Gatwa told people don't watch. Turn off the TV, go and touch grass, please, for God's sake. And that's exactly what they did. Gatwa believes white mediocrity gets celebrated while black people have to be flawless to get even half of the celebration that white people do. His comments caused quite a stir in the Doctor Who community with many saying, no shooty, you being black or gay has nothing to do with the backlash. It's the lazy agenda driven writing, the politics, it feeling so forced and the poor storytelling that's to blame here. And it's not just Shooty that's working overtime. The show's media team are working ever so hard trying to recover from the fallout. There are clear signs of paid PR campaigns here with them manipulating the narrative where you get stories such as this from the Metro, uh, which says, sorry, straight white men, Doctor Who was never made for you. Um, I think you'll find that's exactly who Doctor Who was made for back in the 60s when it first started. That was the core target audience and there's nothing wrong with that. One fan commented, I didn't stop watching Doctor Who because of the inclusivity. I stopped watching because they focus more on exclusivity than quality of writing and it's become a dire example of its former self. Russell T Davies first time around was great for the show. They introduced a diverse set of characters through the run, but it was never made a huge deal about it. They just existed in the Hooniverse. Now it's rammed in your face like a pride parade with very little concern for storytelling and the proof is in the huge decline in viewers and backlash from long time fans. It's all a PR nightmare. 
So the question is, what does this mean for the future of Doctor Who? With these two seasons here as a trial period with alongside Disney, will the show be able to find its feet? It's make or break, the clock is ticking. Is this the end of Doctor Who? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I make commentary videos like this all the time and I will see you in the next video. Peace.